Y'all done pissed Mama Barty off. Cardi B out here trying to attack Nicki Minaj at New York Fashion Week to prove a point and tell Nicki to not put her daughter's name in her mouth again. She took to her Instagram account after the New York Fashion Week incident that everyone in the world is talking about right now to explain what the hell happened and why she decided to step to Nicki Minaj. She said, I let a lot of shit slide. I let you sneak diss me. I let you lie on me. I let you attempt to stop my bags, fuck up the way I eat. You threaten other artists in the industry, told them if they work with me, with me, you'll stop fucking with them. I let you talk big shit about me. I addressed you once in person. I addressed you a second time in person. And every time you cop the plea. But when you mention my child, you chose to like comments about me as a mother. Make comments about my ability to take care of my daughters when all bets are fucking off. I've worked too hard and come too far to let anybody fuck with my success. Bitches talk all that shit in they raps, but in real life, they pussy. This shit really is for entertainment. Now, generally speaking, I usually think artists have publicists or managers or teams write their messages, but I can tell Cardi B actually wrote this because there are so many grammatical errors and, and, and sentence fragments in that last paragraph that I read to y'all, it don't make no sense. Cardi wrote this immediately after the incident in the notes. She screenshotted that bad boy and threw it up on the ground. I'm pretty sure her team is gonna be like, can you take this down for us, please? The label, they're gonna be like, can you take this down? Nope, this was a Cardi B move. It's on her mind, it's on her chest. And she felt like Nikki, like, and I'm guessing Nikki might've liked the picture of Cardi's kid. Or somebody saying Cardi was a bad mother. I haven't seen that. If I find it, I'll post it or something like that. Listen, honest to God, truth. I look at Cardi B saying that the daughter thing Nikki said, whatever it was, I look at it as like a, just an excuse. Let's call it what it is. Nikki don't like Cardi. Cardi don't like Nikki. Cardi felt as if though she's finally reached her breaking point. And she just wanted all the smoke. She came out with a record with Lil Yachty and Offset a couple months ago. Who wants the smoke? She just wanted that smoke tonight. The baby's dropped. She's tired of all these social media antics. She's tired of Nikki's interviews. She's tired of he say, she say. Apparently, she's hearing things behind the scenes. She wanted that smoke firsthand. And now the world's going to know, okay, they don't like each other, and it's never going to be a thing. They're not going to like each other. There's not going to be any more music coming with these two. There are no more motorsport records is coming. We now know. This was what that was. It was a message. It's over, hip-hop. We're done with each other. Boy, these fan bases are going to have a field day uh, going at each other now. Now that they got physical smoke, oh, it's going to be terrible. Cardi B explains why she felt the need to step to Nicki and her team at New York Fashion Week. She said it's a plethora of things, and she's just tired of Nicki and her shit. She called her pussy. Uh, that really doesn't make sense because technically Nicki has a... Never mind. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids that you are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.